welcome to the session uh, in last class we discussed uh, about bipolar current mirror and we obtained the uh, current transfer ratio i naught by i ref as 1 by uh, 1 plus 2 by beta and one thing what we observed here is uh, because of this finite beta current transfer ratio there will be some error in the current transfer ratio and one more thing is if i look at the um, as we discussed in the previous uh, lectures uh, for a current mirror or a current source output resistance is also important if you see the output resistance of this uh, current source the output resistance is nothing but the resistance of the transistor q2 that is nothing but r0 so in order to improve the current transfer ratio what we can do is we can uh, go for uh, some modification in the circuit uh, so that we can make uh, uh, current transfer ratio less dependent on beta so this reduced dependence on beta uh, can be achieved by there is one possible solution where this redu uh, reduced dependence of beta can be achieved by uh, including one more transistor whether uh, where that transistor will uh, contribute the base current so the structure is something like this uh, <clears throat> so this is here this is not to be ready where this is your IREF So this was a circuit what we have seen before. <clears throat> Where this is your uh, transistor Q1, Q2 and this is actually the output current. Uh, this is same as the collector current so we will write it as I0. <clears throat> and uh, what we need here is we need to uh, connect uh, the collector and base together. But here in order to reduce the dependency on beta, what we will do is that uh, connection we will do through another transistor Q3. Q3. <clears throat> now we will uh, try to analyze the circuit. So the main motto here is to uh, include another <clears throat> an additional transistor Q3 uh, so that uh, the emitter of that transistor will supply the base currents for Q1 and Q2 and this kind of uh, circuit is known as bipolar mirror with a base current compensation. <clears throat> this is bipolar mirror with base current compensation here the base current is compensated uh, with the emitter current <coughs> of the Q3 transistor. Now if I consider this as I0, the output uh, transistor as I0, uh, the I0 is same as IC, so I can write this current as IC by beta since it is base current. Similarly this is also IC by beta. In that case the current, uh, the emitter current of Q3 is nothing but 2IC by beta. If emitter current is 2IC by beta, base current is the emitter current divided by beta plus 1. So this current is nothing but 2IC by beta divided by beta plus 1. Uh, so this is a reference current, this is again IC. So now you can write I ref as reference current is IC plus uh, 2IC by beta into beta plus 1. We know that IC is nothing but output current I0. So I can write, uh, so what I am looking here is current transfer ratio. So I will write one more step. I ref is equal to I0 plus uh, 2I0 by beta into beta plus 1. <clears throat> or I can uh, take I0 common and it is 2 by beta into beta plus 1. So if I write current transfer ratio, <coughs> which is I0 by IREF, that is equal to 1 by 1 plus 
टू बाई बीटा इंटू बीटा प्लस वन और दिस कैन बी रिटर्न एज वन बाई वन प्लस टू बाई बीटा स्क्वायर प्लस बीटा सो दिस करेंट ट्रांसफर रेशियो कैन बी अप्रॉक्सीमेटेड एज वन बाई वन प्लस टू बाई बीटा स्क्वायर सिंस बीटा इज लार्ज a uh, beta square is like still larger or <clears throat> we can take beta common and we can neglect that one from the beta plus anyone any way we can do that uh, so if i neglect this one from here it is directly 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta square so this means that the error due to the finite beta uh, which was there in the previous current mirror in the previous current mirror in simple current mirror uh, the current transfer ratio was i not by i ref was equal to uh, we just got it here i not by ref is 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta and if you look at this uh, current mirror bipolar mirror with base current compensation here the error due to the finite beta has been reduced from 2 by beta to 2 by beta square which is a tremendous improvement uh so <clears throat> this one i not by i ref is equal to 1 by 1 plus 2 by beta square uh so uh, why we have <clears throat> uh discussed this circuit is in the previous circuit there is a problem there is uh, the accuracy of current transfer ratio is very much important as far as current mirror is concerned so here we have improved the accuracy right Uh, but if you look at the output resistance here also the output resistance remains same if i look at the output resistance r out is same as r not of the transistor q2 right now the same circuit we can implement uh, without this current source also in place of current source you can use a resistor over there so we can use a resistor r over there in place of this current source in that case uh the reference current value will be equal to uh vcc uh, yeah uh, actually in in mosfet circuits we use the notation vdd here it is vcc so anyway it's fine so vcc minus vcc minus assume that here there is a resistor is there so the current value is nothing but a uh, voltage divided by resistance so vcc minus there are one vb voltage here that is vb of 3 and one more is vb of 1 so i can write vcc minus vb1 minus vb3 divided by r that gives the reference value so mm, pause the video and uh, listen and uh, try to understand how we obtain the current transfer ratio and how the current transfer there is an improvement in current transfer ratio the improvement in uh, the error uh, the error was reduced actually compared to the previous circuit the error was reduced but the output resistance remains same thank you